Hello YouTube. A uh, quick guide on uh, to smother plug. Uh, if somebody will find this helpful, uh, I know sure it would save me a little bit of time. So I bought uh, this uh, Tasmota plugs, four pieces in in a box, and the thing was that two of them I was able to follow the manual and configure them without any problem. Uh, everything went smoothly, and the other two were not showing up on the Wi-Fi uh, scanning, there was no network from the plug itself. So I managed to uh, fix it up, uh, but it took me some time to to uh, find my way around. Hopefully this will shorten somebody's uh, try to try to fix uh, if you encounter the same problem. So what, what is the problem? Uh, if you plug the socket into the uh, wall, you don't see the Wi-Fi network of the plug. It's like completely non-existent. What I found on one of the places is that you can do a reset. So if you hold down the plug for 40 seconds, Okay, so now it blinked and it seems like it reset. So now if we go and search for the Wi-Fi networks, I think we will see see the plug now. Yeah, so here you see it. Does Mota something, something, something. So I go and connect to that. Then we are able to connect to the plug and enter the uh, Credential so far network with that which I just did of my home Wi-Fi. And now the plug is connected to my Wi-Fi and I can access it from from there. So if I connect to back to my Wi-Fi. Now I'm able to, to connect to the plug itself, uh, although the last one that I tried, so there were two sockets that were uh, not broadcasting their uh, Wi-Fi network. So the previous one that I restarted, uh, the previous plug said uh, that it was son of basic or son of generic. So, and then there was no, uh, this appropriate nose A1T configuration. So it was just like blank, blank uh, firmware. So basically what I did, I went to one of the, uh, one of the two plugs that worked for me. I opened their page from the home assistant and found uh, basically, uh, backed up their configuration because that is what I needed. So I saved it locally on my uh, on my PC and then I went and connected back to the plug that uh, had like the raw basic firmware there and just chose a file from the other plug, hit uh, start restore and it basically ended up um, being configured just like uh, the previous two plugs that were working just fine. I'll uh, attach the link of this uh, configuration for uh, this plug so that if you maybe buy just one plug or don't have the plug with existing uh, configuration that you can uh, take it from here and and uh, use that one to get this plug uh, up and running. Uh, thanks for watching, bye bye.